the beginning, you need all your protective gear. You got your boots, your pants, your gloves, your panel, your glasses. All right, here you got all your warning labels. It tells you what to do, what not to do to safely use the plasma cutter. And right here you got your gas pressure when using the plasma cutter. And you got your torch parts in case something goes wrong, you gotta fix it. And then this right here is your ground clamp. You clamp this onto your metal when you're working. That makes it want to cut. And this is your actual plasma cutter. You got trigger, all that good stuff so you can cut. All right, this right here is the nipple for the air supply. This right here is the toggle on and off switch. This right here is your uh, power supply. Plug this into the wall to the correct adapter. This right here is for your air pressure. Adjust that accordingly. This right here is your air gauge. And focus that. And there you go. And then with all your electrical settings, all your amps, and then your signal lights as it's okay. A technique most of us use when using the plasma cutter is to start off by using the tip and flip it over to the cylinder. That'll leave a gap and that'll also cause the uh, tip to stay clear of slag so it can cause some problems that cause them not to work. You just kind of want to just tip and drag this to leave the gap and go along with your cut. You can see here that the metal is only maybe three centimeters long, if that, so you really don't need too much electrical current to, uh, you don't have to crank up the amps that much to cut through this because it's not as thick as what you cut through with like a quarter inch scale. Alright, before you set your ground clamp, you're going to want to clear it off with a wire brush to get a nice good ground so it gets good electrical current. <laughs> Alright, we're going to be setting out lines for massive cut. We're going to do a, uh, a slow drag line right here, a fast drag line. We're going to do a low ampage drag, and then a high ampage drag, and then we'll do a normal one, say here, and then a low air supply one here. Okay, right now we're going to do the slow drag line. Go ahead, Matt. doing the uh, the fast drag. Good man. Alright, as you can see we didn't really cut all the way through compared to the slow drag. All right, now Matt's gonna be doing the uh, the high ampage cut. Go ahead. Okay, now we're going to be doing the, uh, the low effort <laughs> one. <laughs> Alright, go ahead, man. As you can see, it's all splattered out. Doesn't really look all that clean. 
compared to as a good, nice voltage, or a really high voltage actually. All right, in this one we're gonna be doing the, uh, the low air pressure. We try to get as low as we can get to where this machine would actually still work. Good. And then this one's going to be our actually good attempt to cut with good air settings, good ampage. All right. Let's get to it. Cutting a safe environment on a good table or a tire like we did. Have your water brush for clearing off your ground spot. Just have a general idea of knowing what you're doing and not blowing yourself up. Stop it. 